Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my copies of The Record of Agrest War. Uh, it's a JRPG game, both for the PS3. So the first game is Agrest Generations of War, and it is the standard edition. Uh, I have to be honest, um, I played this game a long time ago, and I cannot remember the gameplay. Uh, I actually had to go watch a gameplay video in YouTube, and even then it didn't spark any memories of me playing the game. I do have the save file in my PS3, uh, but again, I'm not saying that this is not a good game. Y you just... You just need some time with it. You need to you need to heavily invest in the game in order to um, enjoy the storyline. You know, understand what's going on and <clears throat> and all of that. Now, yeah, like I said, I, I guess this game didn't really resonate with me. Um, it didn't leave a lasting impression on me. So, uh, yeah, it, it <clears throat> it's not as memorable as some other you know mainstream uh, JRPGs. Also. If you read some of the comments out there um, in Reddit, mostly people will say that this game is a little bit grindy. Uh, so yeah, there we go. Anyway, um, let's see what it's all about. So um, there's a case there, right? Uh, there is the back. Uh, it gives you a brief story of what the game is all about. It gives you a couple of screenshots um, and the usual, you know, region, uh, how many players, hard drives, etc. So inside, if we open it up, uh, obviously we get two things. Uh, there is the um, <clears throat> disc there. Now, I did notice, uh, and I don't know whether this affects the game itself. If you take a look at the disc here, um, you'll see that there's a, um, hopefully you can see, it. there's a little bit of a blemish here, like a, like a streak mark. Um, I don't remember that being there. Uh, to be honest with you, so I don't know whether or not that's gonna that, that affects the game or whether that was caused by something uh, by maybe my PS3 even. Uh, but I can't see anything uh, to suggest that that affects the actual uh, disc because if we look on the on the back end of this, um, there is actually no there it, it's it's right there. You hopefully you can see it. There it is, right, just right there. Um, yeah, I don't know. I I have to put this uh, back in the PS3 and see if it works. Uh, but. Yeah, I don't remember that being there um, uh, back then, but um, I, I, you know, uh, but there it is. Anyway, the booklet itself. There is the booklet, right? There's a back, nothing too special. A uh, bit of image there. If we open it up, just the usual stuff: the parental controls, health warning, precautions, and all that. Uh, we've got here the setting up, uh, the story. Uh, there it is. The character introduction. You've got Leonhardt, Deshana, Ellis, Furia, Winfield. Um, let me just uh, put that. There we go. Uh, yeah, so you, yeah, you can pause this, you can have a read about it. Um, there you go, there's the second page. Again, pause it, read about it. And then you have the controls uh, right there on the next page. Uh, page 6 and 7, as you can see. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, obviously, getting started, playing the game, shop quest event point battle point. <clears throat> uh, what else? We have the world map and the continent map. We have the menu, all the different statuses, and there's a bit of a game in-game screenshot for you right there. Let's see if I can. There we go. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, we got the status details. There we are. Sub menu, class up. Uh, the equipment, skill, active items, data, and whatnot. Uh, the shop facilities, uh, the blacksmith guild. Again, none of this, none of these are um, sparking any memories of the game. To be honest with you, adventurers guild, uh, exchange TPs, monster guilds. What else we got? Uh, trading, alchemist guild, horoscope, status ailments. There we go. Usual sleep poison, paralysis, blind, stuck, stun, and death. Uh, we've got the stories scenes here. Uh, the link gauge, the love rate. Uh, there's the battle screen. Um, you know what you do and everything. Battle procedures. What else do we have here? Move phase, action phase. I think it uh, it kind of plays like one of those um, grid types, uh, grid type RPGs. Um, off the top of my head, Tactics Ogre, uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, and. Uh, and, you know, amongst others, Vandal Hearts, one of the, those types of games. Uh, extend areas. What have we got here? Breaks. A data list. <clears throat> uh, 
Uh, all the skills and the willpower. There we go, if you're interested. There we are. And <clears throat> more active skills. And finally a blank page, I'm guessing, for notes. Uh, <clears throat> and help and support. All right, so there it is. Um, <clears throat> yeah, that is the the first game uh, in the series, Agrist, Generations of War, right? So I'm going to put it right here uh, on the back here. <clears throat> now, the next game. This is actually the prequel to the first game, and it is called Record of Agrist Zero, and this is the limited edition, right? So uh, if you've been watching my videos, you'll know that I'm I'm big into limited editions, collector's editions, special editions, you know it. Anyway, this is one of them. Um, <clears throat> there it is, right? There's the back. So, yeah, I, I gotta tell you something. I cannot remember a valid reason as to why I bought this particular game. Uh, <clears throat> I'm guessing because it was fairly cheap. <clears throat> excuse me, and <clears throat> and I was in a buying mood back then. So, um, and plus I had the money. I was still single. There you go. Uh, also, I have not played this game. One of the many games that I own and have never played. And by the way, <clears throat> this game here, I have never finished it. Um, I'm probably only 20% in, or maybe maybe more, a quarter of the way in. Uh, anyway, but <clears throat> here it is, Record of Agris War Zero, limited edition. All right, there is the side there, if you're interested. <clears throat> There's the back now. It does include a couple of things. Uh, the limited edition, as you can see here, includes a 48-page character data guide, soundtrack CD, a special card set including one deck of playing cards and one deck of collectible skill cards, as you can see here. Right? And obviously the usual um, <clears throat> information. Okay, so let's see the contents uh, itself. Right? I'm gonna pour everything out here. Right, one by one, and I'm gonna put this uh, on the back again. There we are. So, Let's start with the game itself. Now, there it is. There is the game case, right? It um, it follows the theme of the first one, obviously. You know, the main protagonist and all the um, uh, <clears throat> the side characters, I guess. Uh, all the your yeah. Uh, there's the back, right? And inside, if we open it up, uh, there is the brand new disc, and I say brand new because. Like I said, I have never played this game. This disc here has never seen the inside of any PS3s. All right. Uh, there is the booklet. <clears throat> so if I take the booklet out, right there you are. Uh, the back of it shows uh, the first game. Actually, there you, there it is. Experience the first game that started it all. Oh, there we are. And inside, uh, yeah, usual table of contents is the first page. Getting started, uh, the story, uh, the characters. You've got Sigurd, you've got Mimel. God, I'm I'm hoping I, I say all these right, but it doesn't matter. I mean, these aren't real names. <clears throat> uh, what else we got? We've got Alice, Friedlin, Rutier, Sayane. There we are. And, oh, and game controls. You get started, the menu, uh, the game flow, town event points, battle points. It, it's, it looks similar, uh, I guess. Uh, oh, you've got character creations, great. You know, yeah, I guess uh, one day, if I have time, I'll, um, I'll try it out. The world map. What else have we got here? <clears throat> How to organize your field, your switch members, status and everything. Yeah, like I said, this game is, um, yeah, it, it's it's pretty big. you got to invest quite a lot of time into it. Uh, time which I have very little of. Um, but I guess if you if you like these types of games, then, yeah, you know, go for it. Um, see if you can find one uh, in your local local retailer. All right, those are the um, equipments, picture books, <clears throat> the town facilities, blacksmith guilds. Oh, guilds are, are, are back from the first game. Uh, so is the Adventurers Guild. Uh, you've got Infirmary, Vacation Day, well, Vacation Day. You've got the Battles, <clears throat> Battle Flow, uh, the Move Phase, Action Phase. Looks similar to the first game to me. Extend Areas, yeah, they all 
it looks similar. I mean, gameplay-wise, I would expect <clears throat> a similar gameplay. Uh, special arts, I don't believe the first one has any special arts or overkills. Uh, and then, oh look, a skill list. There we are. It's not much, but uh, it's there. And then, obviously, limited warranty. Okay, and that is the, the disc. So let me put that to the side there. There we go. <clears throat> okay, uh, you also get the soundtrack CD. Now, there's a soundtrack CD there. Let me um, take it out of the plastic, uh, sorry, the, the card cover, paper cover, I should say. Okay, there it is, soundtrack CD. Very nice indeed. And then, <clears throat> what else do we have here? There is a 48 <clears throat> page character data guide. Here it is. Right, it's, uh, it's fairly thick. It's about, um, what is it, half a centimeter. Mm, there you go. Alright, let's see what's inside. So, first page is the contents. There we go. Uh, and then you have uh, the first playable character. Right there it is. Uh, hopefully you can see all this. I'll try to, I'll try to pause the page um, uh, quite a bit there. There it is. Seagard. That's the. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing that is the uh, protagonist. Got willpower, extra skills, uh, all of that. And, um, yeah. And then who else have we got here? Freeland. Let's see if I can open it up a little bit. There it is. We have got Root here. Skill slots, willpower, default skills. Cyane. <clears throat> right, Battle Mage, Mamel. So, there we are. Alice the Sorcerer. Galius. I'm guessing this part here, this is where this character can attack. So the red is his uh, position and the yellow squares, that's where he can attack. That's where his attacks will do damage. I'm guessing. Anyway, I, it's, I, I could be wrong. But yeah, there it is. It looks because look, they look different for all for each character. We're halfway there. It's a lot of characters, I gotta admit. Lots of sorcerers in this game. A game with this many characters reminds me of the Suikoden series uh, where you can <clears throat> you know get a lot of characters uh, by playing the game we're almost there we're almost there all right and I'm guessing these are the enemies or enemies slash NPCs, because I don't believe that you're going to be fighting a giant chicken. That may not be a giant chicken. Right, there we are. Let's see here. There we go. All the different costumes for the female characters. And some male characters. Some more artwork. Uh, oh, willpower glossary. Okay. And some more artwork. And the last page. There we are. <clears throat> right. And that's the um, forty-eight page character data guide. Okay. <clears throat> now, finally. Uh, the cards, they are presented in this neat little box. So, 
like I mentioned before, one is a deck of playing cards, right? And the other one is a deck of um, skill cards. So there it is, there's a pack there, right? It's uh, nice and solid, All right? There we go. And if you open it up, there's a magnet here that clicks in, snaps in, sorry. And there it is, there's the inside, right? You've got the art there on the cover and there is the deck of cards. Yes, that's the deck of cards and that is the skill cards. So let's see, uh, let's see them both. Let's put them here. So let's start with the deck of cards. <clears throat> so just the standard um, uh, deck of cards, right, with with images. So if I open this up, take off, take out the cards. Uh, there it is. Now you'll see here the first one uh, on top is the six of diamonds. Why is that? Let me show you. Six, five, four, three, two, and ace. These are the extra cards. Right, I have no idea the reason behind these six, uh, six cards because this is the only extra six cards in the deck. Ace to six of diamonds. No idea why, and that's the only extra card. And I'll show you. So, uh, but anyway, there's the extra cards, right? Nothing special. There's the back of it. Um, all the images are the same. Uh, that is what the ace card looks like. Right, for the for the um for the diamond um uh, suit right there it is okay so let's me let me put that uh, to the side there <clears throat> and now if we go over there is the Joker card right and there is the King card Queen Jack. And 10, the usual 10, 9, 8, 7, 8, you know, 2. And there is the ace card for spades. The king. Queen of hearts. Jack. And the usual 10, 9, 8. There it is. That's the ace. King of spades. Sorry, King of Clubs. Huh. Queen. Jack. And then, you know, the usual. Two. And then Ace. King. Queen. Jack. Sorry, my hand placement's all over the place. And usual. <clears throat> and there it is. There is the ace, as you saw before, and the joker. So like I said, these are the only extra cards in the deck. I have no idea why. It, it just doesn't make sense. Makes no sense whatsoever. Okay, but there it is. There is the um, deck of playing cards. Right there, every, every single one of them. Alright. Okay. So, <clears throat> the other deck contains the skill cards, right? There it is. It's uh, not as thick as the, um, uh, the playing cards. So let's open it up. And I also have to tell you, this is the first time I've seen these cards. I've never opened this before. All right, there it is. Now, the, um, the back looks exactly the, the, it's, it looks exactly the same as the um, uh, deck card, albeit it's a, it's a much lighter color, as you can see there. Okay, uh, the front, the skill cards, um, hopefully I can, yeah, let's, let's see if I can yeah, do this, there it is. Now I think these ones are numbered, yep.
They're, I just I just noticed something, they're not in order. I'll need to reorder them, um, I'll, I'll do that for this. Yeah, six, that's five, V, four, three, two, and one. And that is it for, uh, for this game series. Um, now, as far as I can remember, the second Agrist game, Agrist 2, was not sold here in New Zealand. I, I don't remember seeing it anywhere in the shops or any of the local retailers. Um, we had, you know, we had, obviously we had to buy it overseas. And I, yeah, I didn't want to spend a large amount of money for a collector's edition game that had to be shipped in from overseas. Especially when it runs the risk of getting damaged during transit. Um, I've experienced it before and um, yeah, I, I just don't like the experience. Because I, I, as, you, as, as uh, most of you will know, I like to keep my collection in pristine condition. Um, but yeah, but there it is. But anyway, there it is. Uh, that's all of the, uh, well, Agris games that I own. Well, two of them. Um, as usual, thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Ciao.